Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on routes and networks. It says the map below shows a network connecting a factory to six go downs. So there's a factory and there are six go downs G1 through G6. This network consists of bus routes originating from the factory and mini bus routes connecting the go downs. So these are bus routes and these are mini bus routes that are within the go downs. So go downs uh, are connected through minibus and factory is connected through bus. Each go downs operational requirement in terms of workers. How many workers are needed in each go down are given in numbers over here. Workers are transported from the factory to the go downs via buses as per the routes depicted and minibuses facilitate travel between the go downs with the direction of movement indicated by arrows. So these arrows show in what directions do these minibuses move. Vehicles can only proceed to the subsequent go-down once the staffing needs of the current go-down have been satisfied. So only if let us say this bus is traveling, so it has to draw 14 passengers here, then only it can move ahead. So let us say there are 20 passengers in this bus, so 14 will get down, so only 6 passengers will move ahead. It will not be like only 5 passengers get down here and 15 move ahead. Okay, so that is not the case. So we have to fill the requirement and then only you can move ahead. Buses can accommodate a maximum of 30 workers and mini buses can they have a capacity of 15. So buses 30 and mini buses 15. So we need to optimize the routes. The factory employs the exact workforce necessary to ensure the functionality of all go downs. So in such questions, the very first thing that we need to do is we need to de uh, equate demand and supply. So first let us calculate the number of people required. So we have 14 plus 13, 27, 43, 53, 62 and 80. So demand is 80 workers. So the supply should also be 80 workers. So that has to be the problem. Now the first question is, what is the minimum number of workers in the bus connecting factory and G3? So we need to find the minimum number of people over here. So we are transporting through three buses. If you have to find the minimum here, we should have the maximum possible number of workers in these two buses. Now let us understand this problem to maximize the numbers and minimize the numbers. Now, maximum we know in a bus is 30. If we transport 30, 30, we will be transporting 60 people. You would say the answer is 20. But that is wrong. Why? Because minibus transfers 15 people ahead. So suppose if we transfer 30 people over here, 14 will get dropped. We have to transfer 16 people ahead and which is not possible. The capacity is only 15. So we can transfer a maximum of 29 workers here. So 29, 14 will drop here and 15 will move ahead. Similarly, if we transfer 30 and we will have to transfer 17 people ahead. So that is also not possible. So maximum we can transport is 28. So when we transfer 28 people here, 13 will get down here and 15 will go ahead. Right. So by this logic, we will get the minimum number 23 here. Now if you want to balance the diagram, how will it work is, so 15 plus 15, 30 workers will come at this point and 9 workers will get down here. So we have 21 workers left. Now these 21, we can send 10 here and 11 here. Okay. So if we send 10 and 11 here, so these 21 people are done. Now 23, 16, 7 people are left. Now this demand is satisfied and 11 workers have been transferred here. We need 7 people. So we can transfer all these 7 people in this route. Now it is not necessary that we transfer 10 and 11 here. Let us say we transfer only 7 people here and we transfer 14 people here because we have 21 people. We can transfer like this also 7 and 14. Now what will happen? 4 people are needed here. 3 people are needed here. So we have seven people left. So we can send three people here and four people here. Okay. So we can fulfill the demand in different ways, but the minimum number of 
workers that are needed in this route is 23. Next question, if the capacity of the bus connecting the factory G1 is reduced by 20%, what is the minimum number of workers in the minibus from G3 to G5? So, capacity of G1 is reduced by 20%. So, capacity is reduced by 20%, it means it becomes 24. We need to send minimum from G3 to G5. So, we have to minimize this. So, it means we have to minimize this. Now, in the previous question, we saw that we can send maximum 28 here and the capacity is now 24. Only. So, max 28 and max 24. So, 52 people have been transported in this route. Now, we will be transporting a minimum of 28 people in this route. Okay. Now, when we are transporting 28 people, 16 will get down at G3 and only 12 people can be transferred ahead. Now, out of this 12, we can have a distribution like 12 and 0. Is it possible to have 12 and 0? Let us see. 24 gone here, minus 14, 10 will go here. Minus 13, 15 will go here. Okay. 10 plus 15, 25 people, 9 will get down here, 16 people are needed. We can send 10 people here and 6 people here. So, this satisfied 12, 12 people from here and 6 people from here. This is also satisfied. So, a minimum of 0 people is possible over here. If the route from G4 to G5 is non-functional, so it means this route is non-functional, we need to find the minimum number of workers in the bus connecting factory and G3. So, we need to send minimum here. That means we will try to send maximum in these two routes. Now, remember that we have to send maximum in these two routes. Now, how do we send these through, through these three routes is, see, if you send like uh, 14 plus, let us find the requirement at this route, okay. So, we cannot supply these 10 people here. So, these 10 people anyway have to come from this route only, okay, we can send these 10 people should come via this route only. So, we can supply, if we see 14 plus 13, that is 27, okay. And uh, if we see, uh, we have 9 more, 36 and 18, 54, okay. So, by this logic, you will say that we can supply 54 people here. Let us see, can we supply 54 people here? So, let us say, if we supply 29 and 20. 25 people. Let us just imagine that can we supply 29 and 25 people. So, what will happen? 15 will go ahead and then 12 will go ahead. So, we have 27 people, 9 will get down here, okay. 9 will get down here, that means 18 people have to be transferred ahead, right. Now, can we transfer 18 people in this route? No, we cannot because minibus has a capacity of 15. So, we can send only 15 people at this bus through this. So, G4 to G6, we can send only 15 people. So, we will solve this problem in the reverse manner. See, we can send 15 people in this route because G6, uh, if this route is not working, so 15 people can be sent over here. Okay. So, do, through these two routes, G1 and G2, what maximum can we supply is 15 over here. Right. So, 15 plus 9, 24 plus 27. So, we can send only 51 through these through these two routes. Let us make this 51. We can make 51 like anything. We can make 26 and 25 also. We can make 28 and 23. It will not matter how do we send 51 people. So, let us take 28 and 23 for example. So, 28 if we send here 14, 14 will be transported ahead. 23, 10 will be transported ahead. So, 24 people at this junction, 9 dropped over here, 15 go ahead and now we have a requirement of 3 people. So, we have sent 51 people, we will have to send 29 people. 16 people will get down here, 13 people. Now, 13 people, this demand has to be met of 10 people. So, 10 people will be sent to this route and 3 to this route, the total requirement will be satisfied.
Now, even if you change these values, the answer will not change. Let us take an example that if we send 26 and 25. So, 26 minus 14, 12 will go ahead. Minus 13, 12 will go ahead. Again, that will become 24. 9 people at this junction and 15 will go ahead. <clears throat> so, the answer remains same, which is 29 people in this route. Next question. Suppose there is an unexpected increase in the number of workers needed at Godown G5. Okay. Unexpected increase. What is the maximum percentage increase in the current workforce at G5? Maximum percentage increase at G5. That can be accommodated if you use only three buses originating directly from the factory to transport all workers. Now, you will have to ignore the data which was in the previous question because that was specific to that question. Now, if you see, we need to maximize the factors here. So, what we will do? We will send the maximum possible here. Let us say 29, 28. Okay. So, 15 will go ahead and 15 will go ahead. 30. 30 minus 9. 21 have to be moved ahead. Now, we can send only 15 people here. So, we will send 6 people in this route. Okay. 6 people in this route. Now, we need 3 more people here because 15 have been sent. And now, if you send maximum possible, that is 30. Right. When we send 30, 16 will get down here. 14 we have to send ahead. So, we will send 3 people in this route because the demand is 3. And we will send 11 people in this route. So, 6 plus 11, total 17 workers. So, 10 to 17, there is a 70% increase. Right. Now, even if we do not solve the internal structure, we can simply answer this question by this numbers like... We know that maximum in these two routes is 29 and 28. And if we maximize this number, it is 30. So, total we can send max 87 people in the three buses. If you are sending 87 people, that means we are sending 7 extra people. Now, these 7 extra people will all go to G5 because we will just meet the demands at all other junctions and increase all these 7 people at this junction. So, 7 by 10, we again get that answer as 70% which we can get directly. So, this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions. <clears throat>